welcome student in this video we will try to complete the practical of 1d and the fourth program that is the use of for each loop with arrays i am interested in using a single dimensional array for it again we can write it inside like other program we will be creating one function we will be passing the array to the function and further that uh, array we will try to display its values by using the for we will not be accepting any kind of values from the user inside an array for this program so there is a separate video which i will be creating basically for explaining all types of arrays like single dimension arrays uh, jagged arrays as well as what here multi dimension arrays so once the video is released you try to just look at that video will help you to understand the various types of arrays which are supported by the c sharp so let us concentrate writing the function which help you to work with the for each loop for an array so what i am interested i am interested in creating one function which will be displaying the values which are passed to an array that means the function will be displaying the value so i don't want the function to return any kind of value that's the reason i am using the access specifier public return type void and maybe i'm using the function name as a uh, display array and this function should be accepting the array as a parameter uh, towards this function so as a parameter we are passing an array towards this function i'm using the integer array so i'm providing integer and the array name i had provided maybe arr fine so this is a small function created by us named display arr to which we are passing a single dimension array and this function should display all elements of that array on a console but not by using the regular loop but by using what your for each loop now for each is a special type of loop which has been mainly used for collections and array is one type of collections so here i am writing the for each loop by saying for each in the bracket use the data type now my array is of integer type so i'm using what we can say in a temporary variable name x and for the name of an array so i'm saying in arr so this is a simple what we can say loop i'm using for each int x in arr so how this loop is been iterated the array element 0 arr of 0 will be passed to x the loop is iterated again array element 1 is passed to x the loop is iterated array element 2 passed to x the loop is iterated so it will start from the first element up to the last element of an array and each of the element value is passed to x that can be manipulated by us inside the for each loop so here i am just specifying console dot write line and instead of writing arr of i or arr of 0 i can just use what here x So this is the way by which the for each loops can be implemented by us for an array. Now I need to call this function. So here it comes again the same pattern. I am using the case four. In the case four, I am just uh, creating one single dimension array uh, where I am declaring, initializing, and assigning the value towards the single dimension array. So I just created in maybe a number. equal to new in and uh, this is what declaration this part is termed a declaration this part is come the initialization at the same time i am trying to pass on the value like 10 25 45 78 98 12 uh, and then the 32 56 65 anything like that so array has been declared array has been initialized and the element inside the array are also been what we can say been assigned by us further i am interested in passing this array towards the object so i mentioned the object name p1 which is for my uh, class name practical 1d class name object name is what here p1 and the function which i am going to use is display array and in the bracket i am passing the array name called as what here number further i am using break let's try to check how the program get executed so i run the program it asks me would like to display the for each i just say yes the fourth one program i need to display and it displays me all the elements of an array so this is a simple way by which you can demonstrate the for each loop with an array thanks a lot students